1580 WBKO, it's the Blazing Hot Praise Top 40 Countdown. That's Pastor Charles Jenkins. This week, that one, oh, that's a beautiful song. I love it, I love it, I love it. Uh, let's quickly go back from number 20. Uncle Reese with Casey J with We Are Waiting. Number 19, Brian Courtney Wilson with I'll Just Say Yes. Number 18, Israel. Okay, anyway, number, <laughs> number, where was I, 16, 17, Tina Campbell with Teddy Campbell, it's called Speak the Word, number 16, William Murphy with uh, Arise, You Are God, You Are Good, okay, I can't see anything, number 15, Brian Andrew Wilson featuring Roderick Giles with Overflow, which takes us to number 14, Donna McClurkin, I Need You. Tamla Mann had number 13, which takes us to our last song you heard. That's Charles Jenkins and the Fellowship Chicago Mass Choir featuring Byron Cage called Just to Know Him. Woo, that was a handful. And we have special guests today on the Blazing Hot Praise Top 40 Countdown. Her name is Lady Shalitha Sanders, and she has written a remarkable book, and she has done some remarkable things. And we wanted you all to know her and to get this book because it is absolutely amazing. Good morning. Hello. <laughs> Good afternoon. <laughs> the book is called How I Went From a plus size to a size four. And she looks fabulous. The book is actually called It's Time for an Upgrade. Yes, okay, yes. but that's down, that's a subtitle, right? <laughs> <laughs> and she looks absolutely fabulous. You know, Sonia and I were talking about this uh, yesterday and earlier today about you and, and just your remarkable accomplishment. And you're just, you're so fabulous. It's just, my heart's racing right now looking at you myself. So, <laughs> You want to tell everybody, first tell everybody about yourself. What do you do? Well, I'm Lady Shalita Sanders, mm -hmm. the First Lady of Total Deliverance Ministry. Mm -hmm. I'm also a public speaker, a health and wellness coach, mm -hmm. um, officer of the court. And of course, like you said, I am the author of the best entitled book, It's Time for an Upgrade. And the book is about the different obstacles and transitions I had to actually go through in mm -hmm. order to reach my weight loss goal. And just like you said, I went from a plus size to a size four, mm -hmm. and I've actually kept the weight down. I've lost over 90 pounds since mm. 2011. Wow. Well, you look fabulous, okay? Thank you. You absolutely do. And this is, this is the best looking cover I've ever seen on a book in my entire life, right? Thank you, thank you. <laughs> but, I mean, what did you do? And you're just trying to now just help other women or mm -hmm. just other people, mostly men too, or mostly just the girls? No, this is for men as well as for women. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when I actually started the um, transition, it was not easy. It was a difficult transition. Mm -hmm. Whenever you try to lose weight, it's never going to be easy. No. Um, as far as like working out and um, getting up early in the morning, I'm an early bird. Everyone that knows me knows that I'm an early bird. Uh -huh. um, you know, just eating right is, is another good thing as well. <laughs> so, you know, I just enjoy, you know, working out. Staying away from them fried foods. A lot of times we love our fried chicken growing up in that um, yes, African-American household. Yes, yes. Mom was cooking, you know, fried chicken with that Crisco grease and, uh -huh. you know, macaroni and cheese and uh -huh. cornbread. But, you know, I had to say, you know what? Enough is enough. I have to get myself together. So, of course, I started eating healthy foods, which entailed, you know, baked foods like baked chicken, mm -hmm. um, you know, if you're a seafood lover, you know, salmon is actually good. I and then love putting it. those green vegetables like broccoli, green beans, asparagus, all of those are essential to actually losing weight and actually feeling great while you're doing it as well. Mm -hmm. So if we're supposed to be fit for the kingdom, then we actually have to get our tempos in line with the Holy Spirit. Come on. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> kid when I you say did. that but, but that is really that's really what you know we we talked about this okay I know I know and so I told first lady I said it was I said it was God that brought us together when I met her that day I was like oh my god Nina and I are trying to get fit so we need some help and so not not to not to down anybody in 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 terms of what their weight loss journey is mm -hmm. but and we were saying, I don't want to do the surgery. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do the surgery. So I was like, Lord, I know there's somebody out there who has done this. Mm -hmm. And I need them to help me. 
<laughs> and you know, three key factors that actually helped me was self-control, which is basically saying no to all of those fatty foods, which it wow. is hard, because sometimes I wanted my, like I said, fried chicken, but I love, love Breyer's Oreo cookie ice cream <laughs> with double. caramel sauce the on double. it with whipped cream. Don't forget the cherries. <laughs> See, the I one. absolutely For love sweetie, it. really? Yes, I love it. And I also love Grippo's chips. I love it. Sometimes I even have some cravings oh to God. get some of those. So you got to have self-control to say, no, I don't want it. And then you got to have motivation. That's to get up out that bed right. and to actually work out. A lot of times we just lay around, we see other people fit, and we say, one day I'm going to be like that. But you got to ask God for motivation, and that's mm -hmm. what I did. And then lastly was determination. I said, Lord, you have to give me determination because if I'm determined to reach my destiny, I can help others get to where I came from. So mm -hmm. I think those three things is what you have to ask for, too. Now, let me ask you something, though. How long, how long do you think it took you finally from the first thought, from the first thought to the first action? See, I've been thinking about this a long time, <laughs> but I ain't done that yet. Or well, little it, baby steps. It, it actually, you know what? Because I did have a, a major roadblock, so I can say that. Um, which, you know, in my book, I talk about how an element affected my body, which was um, a blood clot. Oh, wow. So um, I would probably say probably about two months. What really triggered it was when um, my husband surprised me and took me to LA, and we were down the street called Rodeo Drive where they have like the exclusive outfits and everything. Right, right. And it was a pair of pants that I wanted. And I uh -huh. was looking in the window. I said, oh, let's go here. And I went in and the sales, you know, I was looking through the rack and I was like going through and I only seen like small sizes, like four, six, and eight. The biggest size I saw was a size 10. Mm -hmm. So what? it was, yes. They were sorry saying that's the fat so close. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, close. yeah, yeah. so I motioned for the sales clerk to come over to me and I asked him, I said, do you have a size, um, at the time it was like a 16, 18. And he started laughing and I was like, what's so funny? No, he did not laugh in your face. The yes, he blood. did. And of course, my, you know, first of, everything just shrunk. Oh, so, oh I thought you was going to say, and see, a different spirit with a rose up it. Yeah, whole another different spirit, yes. No, no. Yes, an ugly, ugly, ugly spirit, the yes. Ugly, the ugly yeah. spirit, yeah. the blood. Yeah. So, <laughs> When he was laughing, of course, I, I was inwardly, I was like, what, are, what is he laughing at? So he began to tell me that the biggest size that they carry in any other store on that strip was a size 10. Wow. And so, of course, I thanked him for his time. I left. I felt embarrassed. You know, that's number one. I right. was, you know, ashamed. And then, of course, I was angry because they didn't have my size. Right. But, of course, he didn't see me. So I walked out. And from that point on, you know, my expectation was so high, but it came down once I went to Rodeo Drive. So when mm -hmm. I came back home, I said, I have to start doing something. And that's when I started working out. And I lost like maybe 10 or 15. And you know, sometimes we lose 10 or 15 and then we gain it back. Right. Because we want to celebrate that we lost those 10 or 15 pounds and then right. we start eating. By eating a pizza. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh eating a pizza yes. and that's something in my household my husband loves pizza my kids they <laughs> love it so that's another temptation but um so then I started you know working out and everything and then I um my leg was swelled up and I thought it was a muscle spasm oh, wow. and it was about 19 centimeters um in diameter what yes and I never forget I was lying in the bed and I had ice underneath it and um, went to the um, ER, and this African lady came to me, and she told me, you have a blood clot. Didn't know what a blood clot was. So as I stayed mm. in the hospital, um, they did so many different tests, and of course the doctor, you know, he said, you do have a blood clot, and you have to stay for three days. And from that point on, it was like fear came over me, depression it seeped in, anxiety seeped in, frustration, because wow. I hadn't been in the hospital since I had my two boys, you know, mm -hmm. and that was when I gave birth to them. So, you know, I didn't want any visitors. I just wanted to basically be left alone. And it was even a point where I lied back and I asked the Holy Spirit to just take me. I'm ready to go see him. Wow. Because the pain was that excruciating. Mm -hmm. I've never experienced that amount of pain in my entire life. But, you know, I have to say God really helped me through it, though. Well, mm -hmm. I, I, I'm so glad that, that you did because because I know that this book it will minister to many. I know I, I didn't I haven't finished it. I'm sorry. <laughs> tell me. But I you. did start reading it and that's why I was just like, Oh my goodness. It it speaks volumes to the struggle and it speaks volumes to how how if you let 
if you listen, mm -hmm. God can and he will change your life in a way that you may, you really want him to. So mm -hmm. I know for me that I'm going to slow down and I'm, I'm going to get focused because, and that's why I wanted you to come because I know that, you know, Nina and I, we've been talking about doing this thing for a while. And I said, well, we need some some godly influence because the world has their way of doing things yeah. and that's good and it works if that works for you but I just wanted to find another way and mm -hmm. and and I think in in talking to you someone who walked out the journey that I would like to the way I would like to walk it out you know first in the spirit and then naturally mm -hmm. in terms of being obedient and walking it out to, to change my life to be a mint because I wanted to not just be change my life but also to be able to minister to somebody and say hey you can get through this, and this is how I did it too. Because I did it. Because I, I listened to Shelly Sanders. Now you can listen to Sign You to See. You can listen to Nina Taylor. But it all comes back to first giving the glory and honor to God. But, right. but overcoming those things so that we can be palatable to be useful for the kingdom. Right. And you can't do it if you're out of breath like I am now. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and I just want to say I believe that God wants us to be not only healthy but holy. And this is our temple, which is supposed to be of the Holy Spirit. And one thing that I, I've learned is if we have a car, we do, you know, regular maintenance on our cars. We wash our cars. We clean out our cars. And our bodies have to be the same thing. We have to exercise. We have to, you know, consume healthy foods. We have to do, you know, things that are, you know, uplifting to our bodies because that's what it is. We have to be fit for the kingdom. Amen, amen. And, well, I'm so glad you came by today. And uh, I'm, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to come back again, and because we definitely want to have you back, and, and maybe in a, a couple months you can see our progress. <laughs> but well, Jesus, right now, just pray first. <laughs> I sure will. <laughs> and um, and uh, we want to tell people how they can get your book. Where can they get it? And where can they contact you if they want you to come and speak or? Yes, for speaking engagements, you can contact me at 614-407-6689. If you would like to purchase the book, you can go to www.totaldeliveranceministries.org or amazon.com or createspace.com. Or you can stop by the church, 1761 Parsons Avenue, Total Deliverance Ministries, and I can personally find you a copy of my book, It's Time for an Upgrade. And if you need her for a fashion show, <laughs> because she's absolutely fabulous. Yes. Thank you, <laughs> You definitely you 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 you're ready to model, girl. You're ready for the runway for sure. <laughs> so I can agree. <laughs> I'm like a little kid today. <laughs> well, we gotta come back with more of your gospel favorites. It's AM 1580 WVK of the Praise. We are the voice of the people. WVK VIP artist.